Entitled parents saw disgusting couple making out in a restaurant and demanded they be evicted. I refused. Okay, OP. This is OKOP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm your co host, John Fry. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. <laughs> And John, uh, how are you with PDA? You know, I love me touching some people. Touching some people some in people front that, of other people. That give consent for me. <laughs> John, <laughs> how do I, I wield that touching one Touching people in public. I, I be touching my girlfriend. Yep. Yeah. I'm gu- guilty as charged. See, you know, Ariana, my, my girlfriend will like literally, she is overly PDA. Overly PDA. She will not, she just like will not stop touching yeah. me. Yeah. My, my <laughs> thing is if we're like around, especially like one or two like single friends, like, I don't want to be like making rubbing out it in the face. face. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like that's Are the only time that? I'm like, don't all right, do it. come on, come on, come on. Well, I have a story about some PDA that was not allowed. But before that, ooh, hey. you should join our Patreon because we do Q and A's there. If you got any questions, we answer it in videos, and we got a Discord channel. It's pretty sick. Like literally anything, anything. We mean anything. If I ask Sam, what is the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to you? I would say subscribe to the Patreon. And hey, I'll tell that's you. where the hey, answer is, baby. Hey. So go ahead and over there and uh, give your boys a subscribe on Patreon. Hey, yo. All right, here we go. Here's the story. Let's do it. Entitled parents saw disgusting couple making out in a restaurant and demanded they be evicted. I refused. Your love disgusts me. Our marriage has been sad for years. <laughs> it reminds me of the happy days. We haven't had kids. sex in 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> I work at an American-style restaurant, food like burgers, chicken wings, chicken tenders. Well, we do have a small bar. It's more of a family-style type restaurant than a pub-style type restaurant. I have worked at this restaurant for about six years and have had my fair share of entitled customers. Mm-hmm. I can imagine. Yeah, dude, food service, you probably get some shit. This weekend, I had one of the worst families come in. Ugh. They were celebrating a birthday and the party size was 18 people. 18 people, bro. That's a lot. Dude. With both kids and adults. The grandmother and grandfather were there as well as the parents of the kids. The kids were all either cousins or siblings and the birthday kid had a few friends. This wasn't a catering event and we have large parties like this all the time. They were in the middle of one of the rooms, for lack of a better word, and there were booths on multiple sides of them. In one of the booths near the windows, there was this couple. Mm. They were teens, both 14. I knew because I just finished student teaching and I knew the kids. They had separate periods, but both kids seemed like good kids. The boy was in his outfit. He had just finished practice. Football practice, that is. Yeah. Him and his, yeah, football. Football, throwing pigskins. Yeah. yeah. Him and his girlfriend weren't bothering anyone and were talking to each other. I ended up talking a bit to them just because they wanted to talk to me. And I think the boy liked talking to me because I was a young male figure who he could relate to. You are my hero. You are my hero. The family that was there was rude to begin with. And the little kids were acting up a bit, but they weren't being too bad. However, when the parents of one of the kids saw the boy and the girl kissing, they had an issue with it. They had an issue with it. The mother of the kids asked me to tell the kids to stop kissing. When I told her I wouldn't do that, she got increasingly upset at me. I told them that there were no rules against kissing your loved one in a restaurant because there weren't. (laughs) And also, like, have you ever seen Lady and the Tramp or any movie ever where people kiss in a restaurant? They be macking. They be macking. If you if you can't allow that, I need you to rip that DVD out of the VCR when Lady and the Tramp is playing and smash it. Keep the same energy. Amen, brother. Be consistent. The mother proceeds to insist it's inappropriate for her kids <gasps> and nieces and nephews to see that since there are toddlers here. There are also older kids. T- and how the kids should keep it to themselves. A toddler. They don't understand. Stand? Yeah, they can't, it's not like they're freaking fracking on the table. They're just smacking. <laughs> oh, for a second, I thought you said like, it's not like the toddlers are. <laughs> no, the toddlers are not freaking fracking. When again, I told her there was nothing I could do. She went over to the kids and tried to get them to stop. I was also getting dirty looks from the other adults in the party. This woman storms up to them and tells them to stop kissing because there are kids around. They politely ask her to go away because, you know, they're invading their privacy. Yeah. And she refuses. She then notices the boy had painted nails and went on and on about how disgusting it was. Ugh. At this point, the boy looked like he was about to punch her. So we had multiple staff members come over and try to de-escalate the situation. We told her we would get the owner and the other parents in the party started complaining about how we were being ridiculous. 
ridiculous and how they should sue the restaurant for indecent exposure. <laughs> Bro, this isn't indecent exposure. This is freaking, they're kissing. It's fine. The owner comes and tries to get her to calm down, but she is still going on with her. Think of the children routine. The children. She has to be brought into a separate part of the restaurant to be talked to. We waited until the kids were done eating to bring her back. After they left, we banned the parents from the restaurant hey. for the foreseeable future. That is some justice baby justice i i like it when like the restaurant owner is like let's just not deal with these yeah people. yeah like, let's freaking get on. them the heck out of here but you know what you should never get the heck out of here and always invite into your life oh that subscription to okop subscribe on spotify and tiktok and follow us in spotify and tiktok subscribe on youtube if you want to be a real one support us on patreon that's right if that all isn't enough join the patreon with our q a videos with the ranks of sadie jameson felicia joey sandra ariel casey zephorius davine Mo, Amanda, Will, Desiree, Keegan, and Kathy Quigley. See you soon. Woo.